Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, African Gypsy. My name is Sunshine. This is your weekly psychic forecast for the week ahead, the 29th of August until the 5th of September. Thank you very much for all of your support and your feedback. A lot of people are saying, no, please, Sunshine, you didn't come through last week. Please, can you come this week? Because we're really enjoying the weekly psychic forecast and they're really insightful and helpful. This is your first time in, in this channel. Welcome. Please be sure to subscribe and hit the thumbs up button and tap the bell icon as well so you can be notified every time I post another video. If you've come back, thank you. Thank you so much for your support. We are on 5K. Thank you for all of that support. I wouldn't have been able to do it without you. Without further ado, let's get into our messages for the week ahead. Happy birthday to the sign of Virgo. It's also my birthday. I'm also a Virgo. I come on the 13th of September. So I'm really happy that we're getting into our new year with all the new blessings coming our way. So I get the universe works fast when I'm having fun. Yay, Virgos, we're going to be having fun. And also the non-Virgos as well. So the God, universe, spirit works a lot faster. Your prayers are answered faster. Your manifestation happens a lot faster when you're actually having fun. When you're happy and you're carefree. So, mm, Spirit is just, uh, just asking you to like kick up your heels, really uh, loosen up quite a bit and enjoy the ride and things will work out much faster for you. Then I, I let go of the shadow of the past by seeing someone for the first time with the eyes of love. So I feel that this could be certain people who are rekindling um, or meeting up with like old partners, old friends, old associates and stuff like that. And Spirit is asking them to let go of past memories, not to totally forget the lessons, but release the past so that you can see them through new eyes. And for someone else, I feel that you've been doing a lot of shadow work behind the scenes, learning to love yourself again. And yes, you have come across your shadow self. I know in the past week, the past week has been like a roller coaster. Everyone's been trying to catch their breath. Our old selves have been coming out to play and we've been dealing with that part of ourselves where you're like, oh, I thought this was done and gone, you know? I can't believe this part of me still exists and is so strong and it's like, hello, shadow. I see you. I know you're a part of me. I can't run away from my shadow. So shadow on the light. Here I am. So, yes, you're letting go of the shadow of the past. Maybe painful lessons you had to learn um, through experience. And look at yourself through the eyes of love. Love yourself. And Spirit is saying, be self-reliant in the week ahead. You already have everything that it takes in order for you to survive and to succeed. You don't need to say, oh, once I get the yellow car, then I'll feel fulfilled. Or once I've got this body, or I've got this height or I've got these abs, then I'll feel good. What you have already is enough. You're perfect. You're enough the way you are. A lot of times you chase after things and then when you get them, you still feel this empty feeling like, well, maybe it was the wrong color, maybe it was the wrong choice. Yet it's because you need to have your relationship with your star player, with your spirit team. That is what makes you feel a lot better. And that was, that's what fills that hole, you know, that hole, that insatiable hole. You know, it's like after you've had a meal and you're like, I think I should have that sandwich or something else or just a cup of tea to just fulfill this other little part of me that's not quite satisfied. So it's that kind of energy. And your relationship with your star player is going to help you a lot to be able to heal from those energies and feel fulfilled. What's coming up for the collective? The week, the 29th of August till the 5th of September. The 6th of September is a beautiful new moon in Virgo. I will make sure I come out and do a video for us then. So we've got the strong Virgo energy coming in there. So I'm putting a signing of contracts, agreements, and paperwork coming up in the week ahead for most of you. And you might be getting the help of a legal friend of yours to get these signed. And my, 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 look at this, a soulmate union. Some of you are missing your soulmates. The person who was born to love you, the person who was programmed to love you, that person who was created to love you. you know, I was born to love you, that kind of vibe. And this is a power couple, an equal match, you know? Wow, this is beautiful. I also, oh, wow, and love. <laughs> love is coming up as well. Wow, guys, this is beautiful. This is really beautiful. I know, you know with Virgo seasons, Virgos are usually, usually appear to be, some of us appear to be emotionally detached or emotionally unavailable, but this is a very different vibe coming in with a Virgo season. Some of you already fell in love a couple of weeks ago. You began something new and it's beautiful. It, it might not be a couple of weeks ago, but it's still fairly new and it's blossoming and rising to greater heights. And it's a soulmate uh, union. And some of you are really changing dramatically. 
A cycle is done, it's finished, we did the shadow work, we did the crying, the tears, the coming to terms with who we are, who we were, and who we're going to be, uh, and all of that. We've done all of that, and we've closed off certain cycles, even karmic cycles from past lives. And now, in your current circumstance, I feel very strongly that some of you are going through dramatic change. You know what? In a couple of months, you'll be like, Sunshine, remember when you posted that reading that one weekend? Things have changed for me since then. I'm living a totally different life, a very, very new life. And it's actually hard to believe that this is me. I'm actually in all of that. So this is beautiful, a transformation. And um, we might also be dealing with some people who are very psychic. Maybe you're being psych psychically or spiritually led to a certain path that you're really suited to, tailor-made for, or soulmate union. In the future, of course, with Virgo season, they're going to be sleepless, nice, indecision. Okay, I found what I've always wanted. My cup is filled. But is it really filled? Is something going to go wrong? Take care, hey. Don't get caught up in that self-sabotage where you think yourself to a standstill. You start thinking of all the possibilities of the things that you think might happen, might not happen, you're afraid of. And you begin to manifest your fears because you're concentrating so much of what on what could happen and what could go wrong. I feel for a lot of you, you closed off some karmic cycles in the past um, 7 to 10 days. And cycles that had played out years ago started coming back in interest, like in rapid time. You might have gone through like four mood swings in one day, and you think to, you're thinking to yourself, um, what is happening here? Am I bipolar? What's going on? But we're closing off cycles, and it was very important for us to close them off so that the new can come in. But the sleepless nights are still coming in. Okay, something good has come. Is this too good to be true? What is all of that? Oh, gosh. Happy home. We've got the ten of cups coming here. We've got the ace of cups. We've got the two of cups. Guys... This is action-packed love. Wow. Get ready, hey. Get ready. Something beautiful is coming. Something really amazing is really coming through here. Wow. So the happy home, financial stability of all sorts, domestic changes. There could be renovations, doing little things to make the house more comfortable. For some of you, it's a marital bliss being in a happy marriage, being satisfied with who and what your eye lands on. You're like, mm-hmm. God bless me. Yes, I can see it. I can see it. You know, miracles that are like this be around me. Ah, there must be blessing. <laughs> and some of you are starting a brand new business or you're studying something new as well, something that you may have a passion for. You might have been like fleeting around the idea of studying this thing and now you suddenly came to that realization that, you know what, I really want to study this. I want to move forward with this. I love this kind of thing. And you know what? It's a gem of an idea. Don't even dare back down because you know what? In the future, people are going to ask you, how did you come up with that idea? It's a gem of an idea. It's beautiful. It's amazing. And it's breaking in the dollars for you, for some of you. It's something you're really passionate about. Yeah, mm -hmm. a bit diplomatic in this reading today. Some of you are thinking of moving from something that is emotionally um, not fulfilling for you. You might be in a situation where you're like, you're going to emotionally distance yourself, take on that Virgo energy of emotionally distancing yourself from something that is hurting too much. You're just like, no, 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 you know what? I, I need an anesthetic for this mother right here. This is paining too much and I'm going to numb it by cutting it out. It doesn't exist to me. Whatever it is that you're doing, because this thing has, has been, had been affecting your health and you felt that... Um, for some of you, a few of you may be thinking of moving house as well. Maybe as you move, that's when you're meeting your love because you're thinking that the energy of the place you're in is not um, conducive for a, a lasting love affair. Maybe you're living in a place where you feel like, no, where I'm living here, uh, love, can't, love don't live here, no, love can't live here, whatever the situation is. Or maybe the place has a lot of pollen, being told pollen with the season's changes. Someone might be in a place where there are huge trees with lots of pollen and your eyes are getting puffy and all of that. And it always makes you feel like low self-esteem when you're supposed to meet your partner and you end up you know, just ditching the whole partnering thing and all of that. That's for some of you. The result is, yeah, of course, with all of this good, good, good going on, there is going to be a divine strategy that has to be employed. For some of you, you're getting an exit strategy, a divine strategy from spirit, a spirit from you, and a strategy from your spirit, guys, to help you move forward from something, leave a situation. For some of you, there's still that sneaky mother mm, energy of a, of a spy, a sneaky character, someone trying to steal your stuff or steal information about you, someone being sneaky and low vibrational. I'm going to clarify this right away because it would be, if you've been on my videos before, you know I'll say that it's highly irresponsible for me to leave a message like that hanging. We got to know what is all that about? How is that going down? Uh. Firstly, hmm, 
Let's find out what the sleepless nights might be about for darling girl Virgo. Okay, what is the night of oh, swords for it's Virgo? So Virgo is worried because things are turning, well, not just Virgo. I see Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Earth signs are coming in quite strongly. And there might be a Sagittarius as well I'm picking up, who's also in the collective here, who's going to be worried about a new cycle coming in. But you know what? Look, you're looking on top of your game. You're confident, you're looking beautiful, you're all about the action, and you're stepping into a brand new cycle with the new moon around the 6th of September, 5th or 6th of September, by the time the week of this forecast comes to an end, some of you are stepping into a new energy, a new energy of being, a new energy of thinking, a new way of, of living your life and all of that. And you're worried about that, like, okay, I've gotten so used to a routine. What will the new look like? Am I going to like the new? Am I going to be able to adjust to it? It's like getting a promotion and you're now working in a place called Lista and you now have to get the number 78 bus or whatever it is, um, instead of the the number 14 that you've always gotten and you're now like okay how am i going to start conceptualizing the new route uh, the same thing you did with the old with the old cycles you know take be easy on yourself be flexible oh wow a wish come true but why would you guys be having sleepless nights about a wish come true I suppose it's too good to be true for some of you. You've got the star and the high priestess and the queen of wands here. This is a beautiful beginning coming in for most of the people who are connecting to this reading today. If you resonate with this message, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you feel like sending a, a, a donation um, to uh, to say that you resonate with this message, please do so. My details are down there below. Or if you want to book a personal reading, book it. Personal details are down there below. So some of you, there's a wish come true, a wish fulfillment with the help of spirit, angels, guides, and your ancestors that's going to make you very confident and make you leap into a whole new cycle of living. And you're going to realize that the worst is over and the future can be faced with more hope and confidence. Let's get a bit of info here. Let's find out a bit about this new cycle. For some of you, it's marriage, definitely. Mm, lovely. Tell us more. What is this about? What do we need to know? What is the new cycle? Thank you. So an angel has definitely opened a doorway for someone to get financial freedom or to be able to expand their financial base of things that they do. Because remember we spoke about how you can have a new opportunity. And for someone, it's an opportunity of love. Someone's not going to be single anymore because spirit has opened a doorway and said, you know what? You don't deserve to be like this. Or if, if you're one of those looking for a partner, Spirit is saying, you know what, I'm bringing your soulmate to you. I'm bringing your partner. You're going to be a power couple. Someone who's not trying to change you, someone who recognizes you for or who, exactly who you are, who knows who you are, who knows your power and loves it and respects it. And this person is bringing in, bringing in so much, honestly, so much bounty. Okay, that's how it came through. I'm an empath. Someone, someone, someone is thinking that way. This person is very financially stable and very generous. And they're coming with such an abundant love, such a beautiful, abundant love for you. For some of you, this is a huge change in your life. You haven't had that for a while. I'm being told for someone, it might be 15 years since you lost a partner, and this is coming in for you. Let's just see. We've got strong Aquarius, Aquarius energy coming through as well. But Pisces coming through, Sag again. What is the wish fulfillment for some of my darlings watching here this year video? Your intuition is making you get to be close, get to be closer to your spirit guides, your ancestors, your angels, fairies, and whatever you call it. So, so for some of you, you've been wishing to be able to hear the voice of spirit more clearly, and that is happening for you. It's a wish fulfillment, and I feel for some of you as well, it could be higher education study. Um, you may get the opportunity to advance your skills by taking up a course, and these things can be coming up in the week ahead. The fifth of September could be quite a. a significant for finding out information about future study i've got gemini energy coming through as well someone is the wish fulfillment is having a happy family a loving happy family but they don't see how it's going to happen they're like no i've been locked down for so long i don't go out like that how am i going to meet this person but you know what when the time comes for you to meet your partners spirit will work a miracle and create an event to get you to meet your person and there's going to be so much cooperation working well together a lot of balance unity for some of you have been told to put yourself out there you know i don't know there are all these places where people put themselves out there so people know they're looking for love if you believe in that do that of course or protocols observed i suppose 
All right, let's find out. Um, let's get some spiritual intel on that energy of that sneaky, sneaky kind of a character. Let's see what is that all about. Getting some spiritual intel on the sneaky energy that may become more relevant at the end of the week. What is this? It could be a Sagittarius. Yeah, a Sagittarius spying on someone who's gotten a new job, a new contract, or money. Yeah, not necessarily, but there's someone who's really quite fighting. They're looking at this new contract, new job, or new money. Perhaps you've been told people that you've gotten a new contract to export certain things. For some of you, um, you got a contract to work certain days as well. Tell me more. For someone, you're doing work for a family, but you don't want everyone else to know that you're dealing with a certain family. But someone wants to be all sneaky and all up in your biz like that. For someone else, they want to find out about the love. So a lot of new beginnings this week for many people. Someone wants to find out about this new love in your life. Like, who is this new person? Um, why don't we know about it? It's, if it's on a need-to-know basis, when you need to know, you will know. Yeah, and someone's working really hard, working on themselves or working on, on, on stacking it up. I'm going to stack it up, stack it up, stack it up. So someone, that's, well, that's Liam Payne, I'll drop the link for that song, I heard that right now, but someone, someone's stacking it up, they're working on themselves, uh, developing themselves, bossing the hell up, becoming a boss babe or a boss guy, stepping into your power, and some of you, you may be walking um, amongst very influential people in, in the week ahead, and someone's trying to find out who are these influential people, why are they calling on you, what kind of business do you have going on, jeez, Give someone some privacy. You know, you don't need to be all up in the biz like that. I see strong Aries energy as well coming through. So someone's really, maybe someone is falling in love with someone who's very influential or um, famous or in, in some influential role in their life, an influencer of sorts. And someone is trying to spy on that whole energy and find out what that is all about. Let's see. Yeah, you're, you're getting good news from afar. And someone knows that this news that you've received is going to make you very happy and all expectant about good things coming in. Finally, you know, you get that final um, signature on a, on a contract and things start moving forward. They're no longer stagnant. Perhaps you've been firing arrows at a certain proposal and stuff like that for a very long time. And things are finally working out for you. And you've completed your task. You've learned your lessons. You've passed your test, like I said, on Instagram. If you also want to chat to me outside this platform, I'm also on Instagram. The links are down in the description box down below. Yeah, I said like on Instagram that you've passed your test, you've learned your lessons. It was in rapid time. It was really uncomfortable, but it gave you so much growth and you're getting a promotion. You're moving forward and someone is just all up in your biz wanting to know all about that. Let's find out. What are you working on on this week? Let's find out. What are you working on? What, what you working on? What you working on? What 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 you working on? You're working on having a wish fulfillment. So this is a very auspicious week for prayers, for meditation, for affirmations, and all of that. Whatever it is that you do, whatever positive spiritual practices that you've got going on, it's a very auspicious week for that because you can get your wish fulfillment. So you know you can. Speak it into being, and this is the energy that you're moving with in this week ahead. And for some of you, you're getting all nostalgic all up in your head, uh, thinking about the past and things that happened in the past and all of that, and wanting a wish to be fulfilled the same way it was fulfilled in the past. You've got your testimony. You're like, you know what? God, spirit, ancestors, angels, you blessed me like this sometime in the past. Do it again. Do it again. Bless me one more time because I'm about ready to walk out of something that just did not serve my highest good. I'm emotionally detached from the situation. I'm waiting for the new to come in. I'm working on myself. There's new love for some people or new job or new contract. You may hear news of it in this week ahead, depending on where you are in your timeline. And look at this, you're no longer all up in your head worrying about what's going to happen. You've got clear vision, vision 2020 about where you want to be, what direction you want to take. Because you're the magician. You know, I saw this card before it appeared physically. Excuse me. You're the magician. You have the power to cause and influence events in your life. Like I said, this week is good for manifesting, using the laws of attraction, attracting the life that you want, and attracting clarity, new beginnings, and wish fulfillments for you. 
you might have to prioritize. There might be two uh, things coming up at the same time. As comic justice comes in, the, wow, comic justice is coming in for someone who is using some sort of dark energy against you in the past to give you a spirit of confusion so that you don't know which direction to move in. There's clarity coming in. There's comic justice at hand, definitely. And you're rushing forward with the spiritual intel that you have garnered, and possibly in this reading or other readings as well. You're rushing forward, rushing to making sure your dreams come true, and you might need to write solo or carry very few people with you, maybe just one other person with you as you follow the spiritual intel. Yeah, spiritual intel to get that victory. What is that spiritual intel? For a couple of us here. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Guides. What is this? Clarity. Clarity that you don't have to have sleepless nights because something is definitely going in your favor. And karmic justice it's coming. Can you believe this? Justice, justice has come up again. Comic justice has, has, come up, is coming up again. So you don't need to worry about who did what to you, who did you gangster in the past, or who you did gangster. Because whichever way, you know what? Karma is coming in. And karma is a bookkeeper. You know, she, she does clerical work. She doesn't miss a single receipt. She'll be like, uh-uh. Too many favors have gone there. There's some sort of a deficit here. Let's balance up these books here. Let's go back to the ledgers. Let's do a bank reconciliation of this stuff here. Something's missing and I got to find that number. So justice is definitely coming in. Two nine, some things are coming uh, to, uh, to fruition as well. You already know everything that is to know about the past situations that you were in. Justice is coming in and you're over the heartbreak. You're not crying over anybody anymore. You've had the time. You're all cried out. You've had the time to move forward, forgive yourself and move with grace and peace and blessings wherever you stepped. Let's get some advice from Spirit leading us out of this reading. What is the advice from Spirit? Clear, concise messages, please, for the collective. What does the collective need to know? Clear, concise messages. What does the collective need to know? Thank you. So there's definitely a new opportunity coming in for you in the week ahead. You might have felt as if you lost out on some other opportunity, but this had to happen because something more suitable is being made available for you. And you need to honor your own true feelings. Don't betray your own inner feelings about a situation as you move forward with grace and peace in the week ahead and blessings. Follow your dreams, child. This is not a dress rehearsal. Hashtag not a dress rehearsal. This is it. You've been given this life and live it the best way you can. This is not the time to be apologetic or to, to go around looking for validation from people who are, are not even happy with their own lives. So they're never going to be happy with anything that you do. Just think about it that way. Wow, look at this. Spirit just told me to look under the stick. Something is definitely going in your favor. As any regret and, and, and sadness is passing away, many of you are bossing up, but you're needing to sleep. The beautiful seeds that you've sown have come through. The prayers that you've put through is causing you to have beautiful seeds, a beautiful abundance, and your spirit guides are with you, guiding you to happiness. Maybe important family matches as well coming up for you, and your spirit guide is helping you to lead you to a happy outcome. There's going to be a lot of cooperation that you might not see coming for you. Whoa, that is amazing. Virgo season is going to be important for most people so till the end of September there that's going to be very important for you you're going to be putting your guard down because some of you are going to found your soulmate and for some of you, your creativity or your intuition is becoming a whole lot stronger and you see clearly the direction that you need to take and you see the advice that is valuable for you at this time guys I absolutely enjoy doing your reading um, I'm going to post a, a Virgo reading as well since it's Virgo season. Let's find out what energies are coming up for my beautiful Virgos. If you enjoyed this reading, please give me a huge thumbs up. Tap the bell icon. Be sure to subscribe so you can be notified the next time I post another reading. To those who have supported me behind the scenes, thank you so much for all of your support. Thank you for those who have booked their personal readings. I do still have a couple of slots just to couple of slots uh, available for September, the first two weeks of September. So be sure to hit me up and let's get those bookings going. So much love and light and happy birthday to you, Virgo.